Uh, right here we have a uh, Black Hunter 45 pound recurve bow. So th these are your the limbs for the bow. The, uh, looks like it comes with an Allen wrench, a string, and a uh, some felt to go on the side of the riser. The bow we ordered here is a 45 pound bow at 28. Usually all your recurve bows, long bows will be measured at 28 inches. Yeah, that'll be your draw length and whatever poundage you get is gonna be at 28. So here you go, here's your riser. I don't like to use the calf hair that comes with it or felt. I always like to cut some Velcro from my riser. I like to do this shape. Works. And then you'll want to cut a little, like a flat piece to go across your shelf here. This is your side plate. This is your, your shelf. You can make it a square, put points on the end. It doesn't matter, just make it where your arrow is not gonna hit and tear it up. Use the Allen wrench they gave with you and we can put the limbs on. Also, your limbs are going to have a little hole so you can put this notch in. There you go. Put this on. Put your Allen screw back in. Now when you're tightening this down, Get it snug, you don't want to over tighten it. I think I forgot to put this washer on. We'll put it on in a minute. Make sure you put your washer on so you won't mess your face of your limb up. Alright, when tightening up these limb bolts, just tighten to the snug. Don't overdo it because you could crack your limb or your riser. Now everything's together on the bow. Alright, the stock black hunter string is a little loose. Just uh twist it until it looks good and tight. It has a lot of, uh, you'll have to adjust the brace height, but just kind of straighten it out. Get it twisted up until it looks like a bow string. It looks pretty good. Let's try that. Your loops on your string, one's gonna be a, sh uh, see how big this one is? One's gonna be smaller. This will go on the bottom side of your bow. This will go over the top limb. You'll slide this one down so you can Put it back on your limb, top limb. Put your small loop on the bottom, just like this. Should be right. Then string it up. String looks a little better. It's about an eight, 
eight and a half brace height. I like to shoot a little lower. Yeah, eight and a half. I like to shoot a little lower with a recurve. It's pretty uh pretty tight, so let's lower it. Let's lower it down a hair. So if you want to lower it, you're gonna untwist the string a little bit. You twisted it a little bit too much. And we're trying to get it down to like eight and a quarter. Feels a little better now. Yeah, right. That's pretty perfect. Right at eight and a quarter is what it ended up at. So I usually put Velcro on the top of the string loop where it hits against the uh, bow. Slide some in there. So when you shoot and the string slaps the limb, it won't make a real loud popping noise. It kind of dampens it a little bit. We'll make us some string silencers in a minute and I'll show you how to do that. It's not hard. All right, after you get your knock point set up on your strings, put your, get you an arrow, knock it on, and see how it shoots. Black Hunter Recurve from Amazon. Stock string, $105. Go buy one. <laughs> That's bad, dude.